Good day, and as promised, we are back with Predator Concrete Jungle. And in the previous episode, we were able to easily, easily defeat the fearsome machine men who apparently have murder and rape as Olympic challenges. Well, they weren't very good at it, that's for sure. I think they're going to take home the bronze. But anyway, now we're going to sink the shipment where we have to infiltrate a compound patrolled by ex-porn star hookers. I don't know who comes up with this crap. Why would you... Why, why need that? Why not just call it, like, ex-commandos or something? Yeah, here's some more cheesiness. Mistress Lucretia sent me. You don't look like you can afford my time, honey. Looks can be deceptive, baby. I got money. Dollars. All you want. Five one dollar bills. That, that's a lot, you know. Okay, this is a very difficult stealth mission. And you know what's really annoying? I can't zoom in with the spear gun. Uh, the, my PS2 equivalent controller does not have the ability to do that for some reason. I can't figure out how to remap it. The Prometheus technology had uses beyond simply making the firearms of the future. Stealth suits, optical camouflage, smart weapons, medical systems. All these and more have been retro-engineered and marketed by Borges Industries. They made as much money from the black market in these goods as they ever did from legitimate trade. And of course they held back a few countermeasures for their own use to maintain that competitive edge. Okay, right there that doesn't make any sense. How do you make more money from the black market than... Well, I all I just instantly lost, I think. I think. Because I fell. Okay, you can't actually... Uh, trip an alarm without losing the entire mission. So basically, I can't cloak. There's guards everywhere, and if they spot you, uh, you'll instantly lose. So basically, ladies and gentlemen, this is the stealth mission of the game. Now, I've basically been playing kind of sloppy. Why? Because this is a let's play, and I'm trying to focus on, what to st uh, on talking in addition to actually playing the game. Now, I was able to get through this, I think, in like two tries uh, when I was recording the footage for the review. Basically, there's so much you have to do. I really, really like it in that you have so many different things you have to do here without being detected, and you can't really make any mistakes. Although, I'm going to make a lot of them. Now, let's see. Once again, I like the fact that you aren't really told much of what to do. You kind of have to guess, which means you actually have to think. What we gotta do right now is try to beat Ezio and climb along here. This is our ultimate prey. So yeah, wow, we had to get a nice ass shot of the Predator. I just don't get why El Hongo is really worth the Predator's time. I mean, come on, what what, is, what good is he? That's my question. I guess because we're annoying Lucretia, but still, the Predator doesn't know that. I mean, how does he know? I guess he wants to kill him uh, because he wants to destroy all the weapons, which makes sense, but he seems to be really targeting this guy who just doesn't seem worth it to me. He's just one annoying, you know, crime boss, if you could call him that. Okay, where the hell do we need to go? We need to go this way. Be sure to jump onto the ground, because that is the most stealthy of them all. 
Okay, uh, let's see. We need to go over there. Uh, the combat music started up. That's never good. And I can't climb up there, so we're probably going to climb back onto here. Or not. Or I'm just going to smack my head into it. And smack my head into it, but not grab it. Come on, grab it! Okay, because we actually need to climb out over here. Just trying to remember how to get this to... I'm trying to remember how to actually not lose nearly as much. Okay, we need to go back over there, but that's not where we need to go. Combat music is still on. Ah, there we are. Yeah, we gotta actually go get the mall. And it should be right over there, and it is. Okay, so we're going to carefully... Wow, the game's lagging a lot. At least it is on my screen. It may actually not be recording quite like that. Okay. Now, in order to actually succeed here, we've got to try to snipe every one of these ex-porn star hookers. And I can't zoom in. Which is bad. Okay, we gotta just carefully... Because in theory you're supposed to hit the thumb thumbstick, but it won't actually do like I want it to do, so... And... Fire! Headshot! Fire! Okay, we're doing good. Doing really good, in fact. Alright, so we got two of them down. We penetrated them with our spears. That's just totally suggestive. Okay, uh, we want to climb up to here. And... Okay, just gotta use patience. You, If you don't get a headshot, it takes a couple of spears to kill them, and you need all of it. Fire! I missed. Damn it. Okay, let it, let him go. No, damn it! That's one problem. Fire! Ah, oh, fuck, come on. Okay, you know what? Right here. Come uh, on, just walk right into there. Fire! Ah, um, I'm shooting a little high. There. Well, she's standing still, and I still can't hit her. Yeah, she spotted me. Okay, we'll be right back. And we're back. Okay. That did not go well. And just imagine if I had... If you lose at any point on this mission, you have to go all the way back. That's why I used to find this mission horribly annoying. I still find it horribly annoying because it's, a, it's such a stealth mission. And you have no cloaking ability. And you're a 12 foot tall alien. Or technically predator, but whatever. Okay, you know what? If I could zoom in, I could easily kill you, damn it. Okay, just carefully move the analog stick. Carefully. Carefully. Fire! How did she dodge that? How the hell did... There you go. She lost her head. Okay. Now, I forget what I'm supposed to do right there actually. I think I'm supposed to... I, I'm not supposed to kill them. I'm supposed to scare them away, I think. The, the people over there. It's a bonus mission. You get something for it. But I don't remember what, so we're gonna save scum and figure it out. Okay, I'm just gonna shoot near one of them. And they do nothing. Okay, uh... Why don't we bring up the weapons and switch out to... Plasma caster. Maybe that will make them move. I just don't remember. Uh, and fire! That doesn't make them move at all. Alright, I'm just gonna shoot him. Oh yeah! The limited range of the plasma caster. That's what it is. I wasted all that energy for quite literally nothing. I think I could scare them away. Uh, okay, you know what? 
vocal mimicry. You know what we'll do? We will actually just yell. Or a fish pump! Whoa, and the... For some reason the uh, thing... Did that make them run away? No. I, maybe I just have to walk over to them? I really don't remember. I don't know why I'm really bothering with this. I'm wasting time. I'm wasting your guys' valuable time, but I'm sorry. I want to try to scare away these random people. Why? Because that's important. It's like finding five gold in Diablo. You have to stop and go and get that five gold. And I shot her, but did not get a headshot. Headshot, please. Yes, headshot. How does she know I'm here? I think she's dead. No, she was just laying down on the job. Is that what they do normally? Oh, uh, let's see. There should be some more enemies around. I swear, I think what you're supposed to do is make them run. Or there's something beyond the gate. I'm just not sure what it is. There's something to do with over there. Oh, wait. Maybe you're supposed to bring a truck over there. Oh, damn it. I just fell. You gotta love how attentive these people are. I'm right in front of you, idiot. And you just lost your head. And you think, since they're shipping these plasma rifles and everything... I'm just gonna stand here and take the hits. Well, okay, forget it. It's smaggity smaggity time. Oh, smash. This does. I was able to retrieve them all, but it didn't matter. Oh. Now, the maul is a pretty impressive weapon, as you can see, as I was able to do some nice slicey slicing. And I think if you destroy these weapons, you do you get something. Are you supposed to destroy a box or something in this level? I just really don't remember. It's, it's been so long. Oh god, this part. It's a timed part of this. You have to fight you have to you have to get to her before she gets to uh, a certain location. And it is an absolute exercise in anger to actually get to her in time. So just forget the bonus missions and try to get to her in time. Unfortunately, with these uh, last two episodes of Predator Concrete Jungle, I've been getting a lot more uh, technical issues than normal, which is always annoying. But, oh well. I mean, that's bound to happen at some point. Thankfully, another Let's Play that I'm going to create will actually be a lot easier. But you guys will have to find that out a little bit later. She's nearing the generation room. Is there something over here? No? Oh god, we're not going to get there in time. Oh, I should probably get the mimicry out. You have to get her, she get, she uh, basically says a password, and if you're not there in time, you can't get in, or if you kill her. Oh, God help you if you kill her, because I don't think the mission actually ends. You basically have to go kill yourself. Because if you, oh no, oh God, oh God, oh God, this is not good, this is not good, this is not good, not good, not good, not good. Ah! I don't think I recorded it in time. Mission failed. <sighs> now imagine, you just snuck around, didn't get detected once, although I did get detected a lot, got, you just snuck around, didn't get detected a single time, didn't get to that generator room in time, you lose the entire mission, you have to start all over again. That, 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 that made me stop playing, stop playing the game for a while. I mean, that was horribly aggravating. And there's some other there's some other missions like that in this game that are that aggravating. And that's why I don't say games like Dark Souls are really difficult because, you know, Dark Souls requires significant skill, yes, but it doesn't screw you like that. It just doesn't like. It's just a crap. Okay. And that's why. And that's what I had to put up with. That, that that's. Okay, uh... And of course, they instantly spot me. And, and just imagine, just imagine for a second. You did everything right, and then you lost right at that point. See, now we have to go do all that again. I'm actually going to reload the save. 
open the door, and then we'll start up again. Alright, we actually made it back to this point. I'm really hurt, I just realized. Okay, so we're gonna... Yeah, let's open wide and say, oh, that's not me, and not the other place. Okay, now. You idiots don't see me. You don't see me. You just do not see me. Just gonna use the predator mind trick. Now, thankfully they didn't see me. Now they should just go away. Come on, keep walking. Very good. Just stand around like a bunch of useless idiots. Your AI isn't that good. Now as for you, I'm gonna sneak up behind you and... Oh! She lost her head. Let's get some energy. Because in the future, power outlets will of course be purple. Now, here's the question. What exactly are we supposed to do? Well, here's another way to lose the mission. If you don't use your pulse mines correctly, and I don't remember how, uh, you will lose the mission. So let's toss this one, and it will do nothing. Let's toss this one, and it will probably do nothing. Or I'll miss entirely. I've got six, so it doesn't matter. Okay, one of two destroyed. Well. Two to destroy it. Now we gotta try to run away as fast as possible. The intruder was free to roam at will throughout the hunting ground. Ahead lay Lucretia's shipment of Prometheus technology. A cargo hold full of weaponry, equipment, and power cells. In a volatile mix, just wait. So apparently they're not very good at shipping stuff so it doesn't explode. That's probably why you shouldn't be dealing in the black market. So that's the thing. This is so stupid. Dealing in the black market with this stuff. Who's going to afford it if they're a criminal? That's my question. Why not sell it to, like, a government with billions of dollars? Okay. So now we're going to go and actually sink the proverbial shipment since it doesn't really matter about stealth at this point. Except this is a Predator game, so of course you should probably still be stealthy, otherwise you'll die. So really all we got to do now is not fall off of everything. It's just this camera sucks so much. I and mean, that is the problem with this. And of course, like, he won't climb up. Ezio would, and Ezio's just a human. Oh yeah, what about these idiots? Oh, I suppose I'll waste the time and shoot them in the face. I was actually able to do pretty good without being able to zoom in. Very unusual, actually. Okay, let's... Ah, oh, damn it. Come on. Just carefully fire. Dead. Oh, really? Dead. Thank you. There's a couple up there, but we don't care. And we'll just sneak. Hint, hint. Not hint, hint. Wink, wink. Past these guys. Of which they can't tell. That I'm there because I'm invisible! Yay! I actually read somewhere that apparently there. Wow, really? That apparently an invisibility cloak has been invented. The only annoying thing is they had to compare it to Harry Potter. Which I find annoying. Why not compare it to the Predator? But oh well. I guess because Harry Potter's more family friendly. The graphics for Predator Conquered Jungle don't look too bad. I mean, this looks okay to me. And yeah, it has aged in the... Let's see, how old is Predator of Concrete Jungle? If I'm not mistaken, it came out around 2005. Wow. Great voice acting. Although I have heard a lot worse. Okay, so here are the power cells. This is what we're here to destroy. This will somehow destroy the entire ship. Why not put these in boxes or containers? I mean, would that make too much sense? Uh, of course, as with anything, you can just smashy smash. Yeah, why would I not want to get out of the cargo hold? And once again, if you don't get out in time, you'll have to play the entire mission over again. But thankfully, this is pretty easy. I mean, there. We made it. We will live once again. Now, it's actually one of my favorite levels, well, not levels, but areas in uh, Crackdown where you have to go to the ship. Now, how does this make sense, I have to ask? That, that, that destroyed the whole ship. That... Absolutely minuscule explosion. And that is something I did not need to see. Huh. Too bad. I was 
Well, audio error. Oh, that's not good. And that looks like crap. You think? That's why people have been losing their heads left and right. And now we get to make a trophy of El Hongo. Why? Why this guy? It just annoys me so much because this guy's nothing. Absolutely nothing. I mean, the the leader of these commandos that are ex porn star hookers, as they like to say, is more is more worthy game than he is. Why aren't we making a trophy of her? That would make so much more sense than this. Little cretin. Maybe if it, you know what, all these weak enemies needs to have some sort of justification for their existence. Okay, he needs to have a giant mech. Okay, I don't care if it doesn't make any sense. He needs a giant mech to justify me going to kill him. Yeah, you guys can't. Oh wow, friendly fire. Uh -huh. But seriously though. Why doesn't he have a giant mech? I'm not even going to attack any of these guys just because I'm going to show my absolute disdain for this part of the game. So I'm going to kill you! Why am I killing you? That's it! Two hits! And how did you know he said that? How did the predator know he said that? He was on he was halfway across the base. That makes no sense. I call bullshit. Yeah, that, that's something to be really proud of. You killed literally the weakest person in the game. I'd imagine the uh, old mafia down would put up a bigger fight than that. Actually, be more expensive since you have to actually replace it with uh, cybernetics. Maybe I can salvage something from this fucking mess. Nobody fucks with me. Nobody. And why a box specifically? You weren't there to record that. Yeah, I mean, this is super stealthy. Nobody can see you're right there. Why don't I climb in the truck? Uh, no one ever said this predator was a smart predator. And with that, we're going to call this episode to a close. <laughs>